now, not everything in the retro rookery is tech related. I deal with a lot of stuff from a wide variety of eras, so my e crater and Etsy stores get populated with, well, anything that catches my eye. As the uh, rookery's uh, new on card wall would kind of indicate here, there's a lot of stuff here that uh, is video subject matter in itself, but that's for another time. So anyway, this little batch of assorted decorated brass items just that just finished a four month tour of duty on Etsy are now back on my eCreator store, and links will be given to their individual entries in the description. So let's take a look at them one at a time. Now this first piece is an ashtray that I think is from the 60s. It's a brass Turkish shoe and normally the style is considerably smaller but this one is about six and a half inches long and two and a half inches wide. Yeah, it's bigger than the other ones I've dealt with before, or as Ed Sullivan would call it, a really big shoe. It's a pretty hefty and solid piece and could use some cleaning and polishing of course. Now the next piece I'm guessing is probably 1980s or perhaps late 70s. It's a two-piece brass apple. And enough of the tag on underneath has peeled off to where it's hard to say exactly where it was made. Looks like the last three letters are DIA, so I'm going to guess India. It's about three and a half inches tall at the top of the stem and opens up to show that it's also a little uh, trinket holder. It'll be a little nice gift for when you really need to. Uh, polish the apple. Uh, do people even use that term anymore? Uh, whatever, on to the next piece. So Tori, Adora, don't spit on the floor, use the cusp of door. That's what it's for. Actually, I think this would be more considered a cauldron than a cuspidor. And really, it's just another old neat brass planter. Not sure what style the markings are. And it says China on the underside. So I'm guessing by the wear and the aging, perhaps late 1970s or 80s. Also has brass loops on the sides so it can hang from the ceiling. And it measures about 4 inches deep, 5 inches in diameter at its widest, 4 inches across the top, and 2 and a quarter inches at the base. I'd say it needs some cleaning, but it is a planner and will eventually have dirt in it for whatever it will host. And speaking of planters, here's the last one, which is a new arrival to our inventory here. And it'll be finding its way to my Etsy store early next year, unless it sells on eCreator within the next week or two. This one I was actually tempted to keep myself, but since I think I can get upwards of 30 for it, the uh, swans seem to be popular subject matter for brass, I guess. Uh, I think I'll go f for the money instead. This one was made in Korea, and I'm guessing it to be probably from the mid 1980s to the early 90s. About six inches tall to the top of the head and five inches from breast to tail. It of course needs a good cleaning and a session with some brass polish actually because I don't know if it's going to show up in this lighting but uh, that uh, there is some dried greenish corrosion on the inside. I'll 
Let's see if I can, if it shows with the flashlight on it. All right. Yeah, probably not going to be too difficult to clean up. Is one of my the neater pieces I've come across lately. So that wraps it up for the second install installment of the Retro Rookery Showroom. The next one's going to be a rather short one with some more boring knickknacks, but I'll try to put together one featuring old board games that I have available later, as well as a video game showcase. Now the links to each individual listing are in the description, and as always, feel free to message me here or through my eCrater contact email there with any questions. And as before, if an item shows is on hold, message me anyway, just in case whoever is considering it backs out.